Jan Joseph Ange de Pol, was a famous cavalry general of La Grande Armée of Napoleon, a commander of the second division of the heavy cavalry. The future general was born on 13 May 1754 in an ancient noble family in the south of France. At the age of 15, he enrolled as a volunteer in the Royal Army and served in various cavalry regiments. He started the war with the first anti-French coalition as a captain but very soon was promoted to lieutenant colonel. He took part in the victorious battles of Valmy and Gemaps. However, in February 1794, de Poole was suspended from duty by the people's representatives due to his noble origin. The soldiers of the cavalry regiment, where de Poole served, disagreed with that decision. They claimed to the arrived people's commissars that if de Poole is not returned to the service, the entire regiment would stop participating in the battles. So, de Poole was successfully returned to the service and took part in many battles since 1794. In July 1795, he was assigned with the title of Brigadier General by the decree of the Committee of Public Safety. In a year, he was heavily wounded in the left shoulder during the Battle of Altenkirchen and was dismissed but he returned to his service just in several months. In October 1796, he received another title, Divisional General. During the war with the Second Anti-French Coalition, de Poole continued to bravely fight with the Austrians, being in the reserve corps of General Morop. On 3 December, the cavalry led by de Poole played a decisive role in the defeat of the Austrian infantry in the Battle of Hohenlinden. For his brave commandment of the cavalry, the First Consul of France assigned de Poole with the title of the Inspector General of the Cavalry. After the La Grande Armée was created, de Poole was put in charge of the 2nd Division of the Heavy Cavalry in the Reserve Cavalry Corps of Marshal Mirat. De Poole brilliantly showed himself in the war with the 3rd Anti-French Coalition. In a decisive Battle of Austerlitz on 2 December 1805, he made several rapid attacks and contributed to the breakthrough of the center of positions of the Russians. The brave general was marked by Napoleon. In the spring of next year, he gave the annual pension to de Poole of 20,000 francs and appointed him a senator. Also, the general at the head of his division participated in the war with the 4th Anti-French Coalition. He took an active part in the defeat of the Prussian army at the Battle of Jena Auerstedt. On 6 February 1807, de Poole gained glory once again. This time, together with his cuirassiers, he completely destroyed eight enemy battalions. After that, the emperor hugged the general in front of the entire division. Responding to that gesture, de Poole told that he had to die to prove himself worthy of such a high honor. These words turned out prophetic. In two days, in the Battle of El Ao, de Poole took part in the legendary cavalry attack of Marshal Mirat on Russian infantry. Heading his cuirassiers, he broke through several lines of defense of the enemy. The division of de Poole had to retreat three times under the pressure of the enemy cavalry but he gathered his cavalry soldiers three times to continue the attack. In the last wave of attack, de Poole again was at the head of everyone. During the attack, a cannonball of the enemy struck the fearless general, crushing his right thigh. De Poole fell in the midst of the enemy positions but the French soldiers pulled the heavily wounded general to their positions. After the battle, De Poole was entrusted to the head surgeon of the army, who insisted on immediate amputation of the leg. The general categorically refused the amputation and was evacuated to Warsaw. However, on the road, the general died on 14 February 1807. Before his death, De Poole wrote a letter to the emperor, telling him about his endless loyalty. According to the testimony of contemporaries, De Poole was one of the best commanders of the heavy cavalry an outstanding soldier, and a very charismatic person. During his life, he was rewarded with the National Order of the Legion of Honor. After the general's death, Napoleon ordered to take 24 enemy weapons seized in the battles and smelt them into an equestrian statue of de Poole shown in the uniform of a divisional cuirassier general. The name of the general was written among the first on the Arc de Triomphe.